All for criminy's sake. Hi, uh, give me just a moment here. I am getting myself set up. There should be music playing in the background. That. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, I'm doing this. All right. Do 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 do. How far down did I go? Uh oh. I think I've got myself squared away in all I want to do. Yes. Okay, well that was fun. So now that I've got all of this set up, I've got all my gazintas in order and all that jazz. Let's pop over here. Hello, Twitch Prime Cool. Welcome to the stream. Sorry that I'm a little late in saying hi to you. I'm doing things to promote the stream, promote the stream around this evening. Also, let me reposition myself in my chair. Also, maybe I should... Can't move it too much more to the right, but there we go. Gotta wear the cheesy suit jacket. Make it feel more like a game. Gotta make it like a game show. Anyway. Uh, I know it's not super loud right now, but hopefully you can hear the music that's going on right now. Uh. Let me skip that. What the hell just happened? Oh no, I had to go through stuff. Okay, it was just that one song that was stupid loud, but I gotta double check things now just to make sure. Jiminy Christmas, I apologize. Anyway, I hope the audio balancing is going, is, uh, looks good, or sounds good to you guys. I'm kind of rolling through my stuff here to make sure a song from later tonight didn't start up accidentally. Uh, for the most part, unless something happens to sneak through the cracks, all the music you're hearing right now is not going to be featured tonight, but I'll kind of go over a buffer on the rules before we actually start the game. Which if that's the case, I should find something from... I should grab something from another... Yes, actually something did actually something did do exactly that what I didn't want it to do. We're good now. Uh that's what I want. I'll just the I'll adjust volumes of things later on. But let me look up a Oh no, I want to move that tab. Oh, you'll pick up pretty quick on it. I'll re-explain everything, but if you guys want to brush up on any of the rules going on, any of the rules for this, check just below my face. Just check below my lovely face here. There is rules for how everything works. Uh, I can also clarify on, on things if anything is confusing. Anyway. Uh, let me just scroll through. Let me scroll through a list. 
of what was from the last name that game to and pick out a song for example's sake and then I'll use that for explaining things in a minute. We'll pick that. Perfect. All right. Well, that's, that's cool that you've been waiting. Uh, these don't happen all that often, unfortunately or unfortunately, however you want to view it. These don't, these uh, particular things don't happen too often, simply because I um, I don't make lists every week like some people who host this kind of event. Sorry, I'm reading audacious things on Twitter. The stuff that the, I don't ha I don't spend a lot of time thinking about what playlists I could put together because I'm thinking about other things primarily. Or working on other things rather. So when these do when these events do happen, they'll happen, you know they'll happen like once every year, every six months, somewhere in that range. Just cause it's just like, oh hey, there's a song from this game randomly that I remember. Let's pop it in the mix, see what happens. So these don't happen too often. And I will say flat out, there is no prize. There's no prize, this is all for fun. Actually, let me stop talking for a minute to... Okay, the music is going. <sighs> so yeah, there will be times... There will be times throughout our... Throughout our journey this evening. It's probably very quiet because I have it turned down very low, but I'm pretty sure it's at the right volume where I can still talk over it, but if there's any dead air, you can hear the song in question. This is just, all, all this is what you're hearing is just OC Remix stuff right now. Awesome. We'll have to play around with that when I actually start doing the actual music. The, the, when I start integrating the actual music into this, because as of this second, as of this second, I don't know what, what YouTube, what YouTube will sound like when I start playing the music from it. I've already adjusted it down to like a quarter of its normal volume, but we'll have to have viewer feedback to correct anything I'm doing wrong. Ah, speaking of things I'm doing wrong, one thing I need to do. I need to... I need to put in a name. So, I'll explain this more. I'm gonna ask a, an arrogant question, so my so my apologies, but aren't you close enough to a wall outlet where you can just go USB computer or tablet? <laughs> I know, arrogant question of me to ask. Um. So anyway, as I was saying, as I was turning to the side to do this and ruining my green screen with my shadow. Um, the name you're seeing down here, Kevin. Kevin is the nobody got it right one. If Kev if Kevin ever get ever Kevin will only ever get one point at a time, but if Kev but if you're lose but if if you're lo if you're overall losing to Kevin, that's a bad thing. Kevin has become the staple name that I use. I'll talk about this in a second for fun things. Kevin has become the name I've used in these events simply because we need somebody to be a placeholder for, we need somebody to be a placeholder name for the nobody got it right category. And my brain being as ingrained in Ed, Ed, Nettie as it still is, was like, hmm, who does everybody hate in Ed, Ed, Nettie? Kevin. No offense to anybody who is named Kevin out there, but Kevin. Do 
Oh yeah, like I will tell you because just because we had the conversation about this last stream, uh, uh, Twitch Prime, cool. Uh, almost everything you're going to hear right now is from a collection of people or a website called OC Remix, Overclocked Remix. Overclocked Remix has been around about as long as you've been alive. <laughs> But yeah, like this song, I believe it's from... Is it from Secret of Mana? It is from Secret of Mana. So this is a remix of a song from the, from the SNES game, Secret of Mana. Or Second Densetsu 2. Good lord. <laughs> At least it's a water bottle, but invest in a big chug jug. Yes, I said those words unironically. Invest in a big chug jug. That's like a 40 ouncer. Uh, about a liter, I guess, would be the European equivalent. I gotta shoot this picture with another chat. Don't worry, you won't you won't see it. At least not for right now. So that's how it works. So um, I kind of explained how that worked, but I'm going to reiterate that is your channel po uh, channel points for redeeming emote on Twitch. Uh, if you redeem an emote, it resets 24 hours to the second after you initially redeem it. So if you want to use Frederick again, you need to redeem your channel points again. Also, I'll be a little bit sparing on all other channel rewards at this uh, today. I'll, I'll be a little sparing on what channel uh, channel reward points I act out on today, just because this is an event that everybody's going to be with, and it's kind of game show oriented. There are round, there are rounds. Um, there are sorry, there are there are categories and breaks in between rounds. Where I let people refresh, you know, take a minute to refresh the stream in case things are lagging. Or, uh, I, or, and I may, and, well, and, uh, sorry, in between rounds, you know, I'll be updating the leaderboards with everybody who got points and everything. Which also, speaking of which, I better put my keyboard closer so I can actually reach it without hinting that somebody got points. Haha. -ha. Oh, this is TF2. Oops. Valve's fine with people using their music, just... I'm trying to use OC Remix stuff, because OC Remix has given the okay of, Hey, you like you like video game music? All our music is free to use. Sorry, let me delve back. So, there are rounds, and I'll go over all this again, hopefully in very... I'll go over this again, hopefully in very, you know, formulaic or structured discussion of how it works. There are, there are several rounds, four songs per round, all with a theme. In between rounds, I in between rounds I will take a minute. Excuse me. I will take a minute to update scores 
and everything on my end, which will give you guys time to pause play your Twitch browser if you feel like your answers are not coming in fast enough, or if you feel like you're behind everybody, or you think stream delay is affecting you. My day has been okay. I've been really lethargic all day. Like even up until like 10 minutes ago, I was extremely lethargic. And then while I was basically watching the last video, I was gonna have a chance to watch before, I'm gonna pick a different song actually from this list I got here. I just realized I got one. Oh, I'm sorry. And then like 10 minutes beforehand, I was like, oh, it's almost time for me to start the pregame show. And I was like, oh. I have to wake up, which is bad that it took me to be ex be anticipating this event to finally wake up for the day when I have done a workout, gone for a run, run, done a workout, gone for a run, had an energy drink, had dinner, have ha and basically have done various chores around the house to keep me moving, but I've just been dragging my feet all day. Uh, and I will say to people who are waiting, people who are waiting and want to know exactly when we'll start, we're starting the event at exactly the top of the hour. So if you want to take care of something else before things start, get yourself situated, you've got about 10, 15 minutes, at which point I'll go over the rules again and everybody can, yeah, yep, about 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. So I'll, that's when I'll go over the rules again, kind of give you a brief explanation of everything. Again, if you want to prepare yourself, the rules are just below my lovely face and you can review them and if you have any questions on them, you can ask them at any time, but do know that I may not answer your questions specifically until in between rounds because I'm going to mute myself on, uh, on OBS so you don't hear me at all because there's a good chance I'll probably start jamming out. Also, I have an itch. Give me, excuse me, just one second. I'm still here. Like I said, an itch, but it probably don't want to see me itch what I'm itching. So, funny story I want to talk about really quick is this suit jacket I'm wearing. This suit jacket I'm wearing is about two to three sizes too big. Possibly even four. Like currently, I am pulling it out as far as I can. This is the only suit jacket I've ever bought in my life. And unfortunately, I bought it when I was like 400 pounds. <laughs> when you are 250 pounds, there's quite, a, there's quite a gap in space between your torso and the jacket. Also, it's a, it's a nice cool night here, so I'm not too warm right now. I should probably... I may have uh, alerts go off like that, but be kind, Joe. Thank you for hosting tonight, for hosting the stream. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Grab yourself a seat. And if you're participating, you got roughly 10 minutes before the game show actually starts. This is just a preamble to let people slowly come in and get prepared ahead of time. <sighs> and, okay, this is more stuff I'll go over as we get there. As we get there. I'm going to try... I should make notes of all this right now so I'm not uh, being dumb about this. So, eh. I'm making bullet points for myself here in a second. You won't see any of this. Uh... Okay. So I give myself a list of bullet points to go over once we actually start. That way I don't forget anything. 
because anybody who's a long time viewer or those who are new viewers, I'll tell you right now, I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. Or I have a memory that will not hold everything that comes in or things that have, like, basically, you tell me five things. There go the other four. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, that's something I should put in. This is why I have to write myself a list of bullet points, because I will forget stuff if I don't. Also, my apologies if I wince every now and again. As part of my lethargy from earlier today, I've also got a pretty bad headache for some reason. It's like bordering on migraine uh, caused by light. So like every, mi every, like every now and again for about 30 seconds, my brain tries to shut down on me from overexposure to light, and then I just come right back to normal, so... I've already had Advil, I've eaten, and I've drinking plenty of water today, so yeah. It's just a migraine trying to happen. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. Itchy. I'm totally ruining the music that's going on in the background, by the way. Okay. So chat, let me turn to you, chat, as I look at you like I'm full looking at you on the side of the screen. So chat, when I explain the rules with a example song, do you want a song from, from a well-known series or do you want an indie game song? I'm letting you guys have a choice right now because there's two songs I'm going to use, there's one or two songs I'm going to use to explain this. From a well-known series, I see one well-known series. And this is what you get for coming to the pregame show. You get to decide, you get to cash in on a few things that I'm debating. You, well, if you don't know any songs, you'll learn some. There's a, there's even, I'll put it this way. Okay, still, so we're gonna stick with well known. So here's something I will say. Even if you don't know much, like that bottom thing in the rules section says, I put that as a helpful hint because people tend to forget this. Guess anyway. You you might be surprised what you happen to know. Guess anyway. I myself do what I can to not pick, if it's an indie game, I don't pick anything that's super indie. Um... Let me pull my Steam library here, because that could give you an example of what I'm thinking of. Like, not everybody knows... Give me a second. This will take me a minute. Okay. Exactly. So, here's an example. If it's an indie game, I pick something that's somewhat notoriable or something that some people know. So if it's an indie game, I'm not going to pick something like Loop Hero. I won't pick Loop Hero, because I'll, I'll tell you this much. Probably two people who who entered who joined in tonight will know what the hell Loop Hero is to begin with. Hell yeah, you got that emote again. Whereas, adversely, you know, I could pick a song from... I'm trying to pick some... This one kind of got a lot of steam. No, this, this one's getting a lot of steam lately. Whereas... Conversely, if I pick an indie game for a song, which this is not happening tonight, if I pick an indie game to pull a song from, Everhood could be a possibility. Some people have heard of Everhood. A good chunk of people have actually heard of Everhood. So that's why I say, if I pick something that's indie, I picked one where about 30% or more people are knowledgeable in the game instead of 5% or less. Like, uh, let me just scroll through. 
Right. Let me just scroll through last times, uh, last name that game tune list and find something I'm thinking of. Uh, okay, here's one. So an example of an indie game I picked from last time. I picked a song from Worms World Party. Everybody knows the Worms series in some capacity. Weird game, weird tactical shooting game where you play as the little earth, earth dwelling creatures, worms. Somebody got that one right. All right. So I'm going to make a warning tweet now and I'm going to I'm going to make a warning tweet right now that we're about to get started with the real thing. So if there's any last minute things you want to handle, now is the time. Go tweet out. And make sure I have the first song ready on my end. <laughs> it's all good, buddy, bro. But yeah, welcome, buddy, bro. Welcome, everybody else. I know there's some people that are lurking. Perfectly fine. You don't have to be super active. Uh, something else I should mention, I should put here. This will be part of like the same bullet point I'm going to go over. I just remembered like an additional addendum rule that I should probably discuss, which will come up several times throughout this, but I want to make sure I put this point here. It's in the rules list there, but we'll talk about it again in just a minute. You only get one guess per song. It's not down there. I'm going to have to update that. Oh, shoot. Uh... Oh, no, it is down there. Haha. <sighs> you can tell the... Uh... You can tell I'm getting, like, start starting jitters. I don't make... I don't plan big events like this, but when I do, I get starting jitters. But once we get into it, I'll calm down. Let's do a little bit of Metroid here, but right at the top of the hour, as soon as I look over, as soon as I look over to my right and I see my clock say zero zero for the last two digits, we're up. I'm going to start with rules. So you have less than a minute. Man. But to that comment you just made about what you do know, Twitch Prime cool. What you, uh, uh, comment, to try and cool. You'll learn some stuff today. I learned about series I never knew about or music that came from series. And because of that and this kind of game style, I've grown to love these series, which is why we're listening to Super Metroid as we speak. A remix, but Super Metroid. I would love to listen to some more secret amount of music, but I think I'm going to cut the music now to kind of give a a audio warning of sorts, a sensory warning, if you will, that we're about to get going. All right. So that's it. Now then, for the people who have me turned down, I watch your headphones, pull your headphones a little bit away for half a second. If things are, tr if you have yourself pretty loud, I'm going to get close to the mic, but not yell. 
Anyone who has me turned down, we are about to start. Okay, hey, however long. This is gonna be this is gonna go on a long time. The last few of these I've done have lasted three to four hours. So they can last a while. And most of that's probably on me organizing all of the all of this stuff on your right. Or on my right, rather. All right, I don't have any funny uh, background music to put in for this. No game show music. My apologies, but <clears throat> let's put on the funny voice. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Name That Game Tune, an event that I host like once every year because I'm lazy. <laughs> so for anybody who's never played this before, what is Name That Game Tune? I'm going to play music from a video game. I will play it for 30 seconds to a minute, depending upon how, basically depending upon how I feel. Yes, this is biased towards me and how much I enjoy a song. What you will do, the audience, is, well, the rules that blow me will say it there. You will guess the song, you will guess the game that the song is featured in. So, to start off here, to build into this. Also, this is an audio level test, so tell me things are too loud or too quiet. So, for, this is an example we're going to do right now. As soon as it loads. Okay, we'll stop with that. So I'll let it go on a little bit longer because it does have a long preamble. But, so, that's an example. Now, as Twitch Prime Cool has lovely explained, showed for us, they guessed the song. Uh, every four songs, I'll cut in and I'll say what each song was. I'll even give the name for the song, what game it was from. Now, I will tell you one, Twitch Prime Cool, sorry, you're wrong. The song featured here was Magikarp Festival from Pokémon Tournament, the Pokémon fighting game that's based on the Tekken engine, basically. So, if somebody had gotten that right, for the first person that got that right would have gotten two points. Second and third place who got that right would have gotten one point, and I'll tally up. I'll tally up everybody's points on the side here. You don't have to track anything. I'll take care of everything. Now, here's the thing. You have to use the full name for the game. I'll give some leeway on some. For example, last time I did this, I had a Persona 4 song. And the person who got it right said Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. You only need to put Persona 4. So the full name is necessary, as the rules do say down there. Do not abbreviate Legend of Zelda with by using L-O-Z. That does not fly. If you do that, you will not be rewarded points. I do give some leeways. Again, using Legend of Zelda example, you don't have to put the Legend of Zelda every time. I'll take Legend of Zelda, but if there's another the somewhere in the title, Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker... I'll need that additional the. And I know it's a race to be first, but check your spelling as well. There are many, I'll be, I'll probably miss it still, but spelling is important. If something is misspelled, it gets no points. There's going to be a little leeway on that. Like if you're the only person to guess it and you had a spelling mistake and you guessed it right, I, I'll go a leeway like, okay, you're the only one to guess it, but you spelled it wrong. I'll give you a point. So that's the other thing is I've already explained like the leeway I'll have. I'll try and give you I'll try and give you a couple points here and there in case you if every now and again if like somebody gets like just almost right or something like that, but if only if it's one person, so to say. I also want to make note that it you only your first guess counts. If you guess, I'm just gonna put an example here. If you guessed 
if you guessed uh, Super Mario Brothers three and felt and go, no wait, Dragon Quest two, or Dragon Warrior two, leeway. I will say sorry. You first guessed you qu first guessed Super Mario Brothers three. That was your answer. No points. Next up, Kevin. You probably see that name down there at number ten. I'll move him up the list if necessary. If Kevin gets points, if Kevin gets points, that means nobody got it right. Kevin can only get one point at a time, though. So, it's easy to beat Kevin, but Kevin can win if everybody gets stumped. Now, for these songs categories, I'm going to have, as the numbers you can see down there show... If it's the numbers down there at the bottom show, I do have these split up into four uh, four song chunks. That will also have a category to kind of help guide you on generally what game or what genre at least this game these games are from. I fail sometimes at category names. Sue me, but don't actually because I'm poor. But in between in between rounds, those four song rounds, I will be taking time to update the leaderboard. Update all that down there. Uh, no, I will not be answering because if I answer that, if I answer, I will be getting a hundred points, a hundred and eight points by the end of this. No, one hundred and ten. Math. So, uh, but while I'm doing all that, if you feel. If you feel like you're you're uh, being subject to stream delay, or if anything is if anything is key inhibiting you, if anything is inhibiting you from uh, doing your best, or yeah, if anything is inhibiting you from doing your best and answering the quickest, take these breaks as a time to hit pause and play on the Twitch player to refresh the stream and get back up to speed. I apologize if you get an ad by doing that. I know sometimes Twitch is really ad happy with pause play mechanics. So if that happens, say something. I'll wait a little bit extra in between rounds as well. Um, but the reason why I say 110 points, and I should loop back around this, I have 50 songs total picked out. The last 10 songs I have are in, are in chunks of are in, are two sets, and everything in that last set is worth double. So even if you're not winning, if you guess if you guess every song first and right in those last 10 songs, you can potentially win in the end. Mario Party style. Uh, I think I've talked to my thing. If uh, there's no questions, I'm going to clear I'm going to clear up a notepad here for myself so I can keep track of points. And also keep note of everybody who is in chat right now. All right. So I think about everybody's uh, information in here. That's at least I can see in chat right now. As more people come in, I'll add names to my checklist. And that may take a minute. But we'll do that. So. If nobody has any questions about anything else here, and again, I'll, and also I'll answer questions in between rounds if anything does come up. But if we're going to start here, if we're ready to get started here, let me let me get started here as I close things so I can just do this properly. So, first category: songs one through four. If I can spell it right, undercover. Undercover. I will mute myself and we'll get started. Oh shoot, I almost forgot. I will be typing in the Twitch chat as well, just to kind of say when when the songs will start and it give you like 10 second warnings when something is about to end. Sorry, I forgot that part. Very important part. I'll be up, I'll be in the chat as well, just tell giving you guys warnings. So I'm gonna mute my voice and we'll get started.
Well, I have some good news, but unfortunately mostly bad news. So, in that first round, nobody got points. Well, except for one person. I'm going to sound mean when I say this. I don't mean this to be mean. When, some, when we do start getting points on the board other than Kevin, I'll start adding points to the leaderboard. But we're going to leave things like that for now. So, I re the theme of the other one, under Undercover, the theme. All songs from games that require stealth in a major, in a major way. So, and this is going to sound weird for one of the, the first song here. The first song we listened to right away was Secret Agent Clank, Paradis de, de Treasures Casino. Secret Agent Qu Clank was a, I believe, a PSP game from of the Ratchet and Clank series, where it was a solo Clank adventure for the most part. They still had arenas with Ratchet every now and again, but it was mostly Clank's solo adventure. <clears throat> uh, so after that, we had, we, uh... Anyway, uh, after that, so the, the second song we had was High Class Heist from S the, the, the first Sly Cooper game. And it's something I should say really quick here is if you have like ah oh, ahs or, 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 or grievances, now's the time to get them out. Not while you're, not while we're in the guessing parts. If you have uh, grievances you want to get out, Now's the time to start voicing them. <laughs> Alright, but after that... Oh, I feel so bad. So, buddy bro, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot here. Next up on the... Next up, so the third song... Is Fortress Sneaking from Metal Gear Solid 3. And now this is why I say Buddy Bro is going to shoot himself in the foot. The for, the last song we just listened to was Runway from GoldenEye 007 on the N64. Your heart was in the right place, but at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably pick up on one or two here. So anyway... Uh, I have updated, I've updated the leaderboard already here. I'm going to take a minute and update the other things. So if you want, so if you want to, now is a good time to, uh, pause play your player and make sure, make sure that you've got everything squared away there. And I'll give it like a second here. If you think you're falling behind, that is. So. The next category we got coming up here is what a freak. And again, for anybody who's never played before, these categories will make more sense as we get into them. So, I'm going to be quiet for, I'm going to be quiet for I'm going to go mute again and I'll be in chat to let you guys know when we uh, when, when the songs are going.
Okay. That was a fantastic note to come in on, by the way, me uh, mid-belch. So, the category in question, what a freak. These are all games that were made by Game Freak that are not Pokemon. Something I probably should have said before we start all this is, I'm picking games from all times of all times of gaming. So it could be NES to a current day PlayStation 5 release, for example's sake. Let me go through the list and we can talk about that. So the first thing, the first song, uh, song number five, was the from was Walkman stage from Mendel Palace, also some in some places known as Quinty. Uh, Mendel Palace it was one of Game Freak's, Game Freak's very first games where to defeat enemies, you flip over tiles underneath of them to KO them. As some enemies jump, some enemies have special moves. All you have is tile flip. Uh, the song after that, song number... God, I can't remember my own numbers. Song number seven... Uh, Twitch Prime Cool is going to kick his butt own butt because the song uh, song number seven was BGM3 Starman from Yoshi. All right, thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by tonight, uh, Twitch Prime Cool. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, uh, Game Freak worked on that game, Yoshi. As weird as it might sound. Probably the beginning of the whole Nintendo Game Freak relationship. And then song number nine. or se No, that was six. So six was Yoshi. Seven. I'm Yeah, see, me and numbers are, we're friends. Song number seven is what Dig Rocks alluded to. Is its blank structure from Pulse Man. A Sega Genesis platformer. And lastly, song number eight is Pressure from the game Giga Wrecker. The game came out about three, four years ago now, but it was an original IP game, uh, game Freak title that mainly saw PC release. I think it probably released on like Xbox 360 and PS4, but or yeah, PS4 as well, but mainly a PC release. Nintendo had no hand in this game. So hopefully that kind of helps people. That help. Hopefully that kind of helps people a little bit when I'm talking about, you know, categories and what a category might do for people. So, unfortunately, I have to update things. Fortunately, unfortunately, I have to update things. Uh, dip, dip, help. Now, don't be discouraged. Please don't be discouraged. Keep trying. Keep guessing. Also, refresh now if you think you're a little bit behind on anything. And... Pop my right knee. So the next set of songs that I've got coming up here is... I somehow seem to always have this category and name that game too, despite the fact of what the theme is based around. Fight me. Okay. If we're all set and ready to go, I'm going to mute and we'll get the songs going again.
Everything's null and void at this point. I'm stopping to say, remember, one guess only. One guess. I take the first one. Okay, almost double click. Okay. So there's that. So let me do this first. Again, please don't be discouraged, but So fight me. All songs put in here were songs from fighting games. So, the first song, song number nine, was uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly from uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly's theme from Dragon Ball Fighters. Everybody kind of hates the Unga Munga Man. Moving right along, we go into another, for number 10, we go into another Arxis game with Smell of the Game from Guilty Gear Strive. You said Guilty Gear, Dave Rocks, unfortunately that was like your third answer and it wasn't the full title, so no points. But at least you were in the right, at least you're in the right series. So you're, so you're getting close. Still, my heart is blazing. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Next up, kind of a weirder one, kind of more indie. Uh, we have Paprika's theme from Them's Fighting Herds. The, the fighting game that started off as a My Little Pony fan game 
got DMCA'd by Hasbro, they said, okay, we'll just make our own, we'll just make our own I IPs and keep going with it. And they've made quite possibly one of the best fighting games out there. With rollback netcode for you fighting game fans. <laughs> yes, a game about cartoon ponies beating the crap out of each other has rollback netcode. Anyway. And last from the category, number 12, is Sky Palace. Michelangelo's theme from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. I would have taken the acronym TMNT because that's a long ass name to type out. But yeah. Basically Street Fighter, but featuring but featuring characters from all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise at that point, like mid nineties. So the comics and the cartoon. So I think Hammerhead was a playable character. Uh, I forget the name of like the defunct bat evil turtle was a playable character. Shredder was playable. I think April was playable too for some reason. Anyway, that aside. So let me go ahead and update things. Now is a good time to pause play if you think you're falling behind. I can, okay, I was about to say, can I count? I can count. Alright, and then category. So this category, this is kind of a, this is kind of a blanket statement, but you'll understand why when I put this in. So, the theme for songs 13 through 16 is party time. Party time. I'll mute and we'll get started. It didn't update that on my end, so I guess I have to watch chat really closely. So if so, if things don't update on the ticker on the side here, I apologize. I'll uh. Maybe fiddle with some things in between rounds. But anyway, I'll keep a close eye on chat. That head shake wasn't at you guys. I'm tech. Tech problems.
Hey, do you guys like good news? Did as soon as I can do this right, help? Kevin didn't get all the points this time. I should probably do this instead the other way around, but just know you that there are that you guys are up here. I'll I'll do this in a minute just so you guys aren't spoiled. <sighs> Alright. So let's start from the top. Party time. This one's a little bit vague, I understand, but so but songs that are from quote unquote party games or intended to be party games or massive multiplayer gatherings. So, the first song from the set, song number 13, was Lulu's theme from 100% Orange Juice. Uh, Dagrox, I don't know if that was a really late guess or if you thought it was or if you thought that was your guess for the next song, but unfortunately, what I have on the side here is what I'm going by. I'm not going by what you see. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, Lulu's theme from 100% Orange Juice. And I say that because for song number 14, you guessed that you guessed that one. But song number 14 is Fall in Roll from Fall Guys. I haven't played a lot of Fall Guys since like season 2 started. I just haven't had time. As well as many other things in my life. But yeah. Uh, Fall Guys is still a good game. It kinda got in, it's kinda in a weird territory now because I think Epic Store acquired it and it's try and they're trying to push microtransactions. Hey, let's not get into that subject to topic of discussion, shall we? Anyway, after that we have the top 10 from Pac-Man 99. Buddy Bro got that one first, followed by Dagrox. So, Buddy Bro gets two points, Dagrox gets one point for that. And lastly, song number 16 was, as Buddy Bro guessed it, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Buddy bro, what are you doing playing Animal Crossing at 3 in the morning? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. That's the only reason the song is in here. Is to call out people who've been up uh, sleepless nights playing Animal Crossing. And if you think I'm making things up... Yes, friends have told me that that is exactly the song that plays if you're playing, if you're playing Animal Crossing at 3 in the morning. So, uh, I will say right now, right now, perfect time. Right now is the perfect time for you guys to pause and play your your Twitch player if you think lag is affecting you or stream delay while I'm doing all this. But hey, we have folks on the we have folks on the board with points that aren't Kevin. Kudos go to you. Unfortunately, I just don't have the candy bar kudos on me to give you. Anyway, let's get everything all set up now. We're hitting. We're gonna hit be hitting the halfway points of the theme categories here. So, you guys, are doing great so far. And a little bit here. I'm gonna apologize for this one a little bit, but category coming up here. Is Devils in the Details. Oops, don't hit enter. Dev Devils in the Details. Oops. Sorry, the category was eating you, Chad. I apologize. It's not going to be that bad. Hopefully. Anyway. Let me mute myself, and we'll move on to the music here.
How do you think you guys did? How do you think you guys did? Because I'm going to tell you this much right now. That's how well you guys did. Kevin only got one. <clears throat> Hold on, I have to scroll back up through chat and see which ones they were. Actually, they're all, it's all close enough together. I don't have to scroll back up. Okay, so let's start from the top. So, Devils in the Details. Again, this one got a little convoluted because making themes together. The name just kind of encompassed basically three songs associated with the devil and randomly the antagonist from that's the, the series for the last one. Anyway. So, song number 17... You had Vitality from Helltaker. Daygrox got that one first, followed by Buddy Bro. So, and then song number 18. You guys are going to kick yourself in the butt because you were so close. Shoot, you were so close to Venom. Uh, but it's not Star Fox. It's Dwelling of Doom mansion theme from Castlevania 2. <laughs> right series. Wrong game. So that's the one Kevin got. I heard that song recently. I, I've, I've been watching speedruns.
Bitch. So, let's do things in the order I've been doing it so far for whatever reason. So that's what we got here, everybody. That's where we sit. Kevin got bagged himself another two. But his lead is not going to stay there for long. <clears throat> so, this doesn't feel right. Basically, the song from a game, or the game itself... That is very, very out of place. So, from the top, song number 21 was Zombies on Your Lawn from Plants vs. Zombies. Buddy Bro got that pretty much instantly. Because <laughs> it's like the one song everybody remembers from Plants vs. Zombies. By the way. If you ever find a way to play the original, not any of the remakes or the Garden Warfare or any of that stuff like that, fantastic beginner's tower defense game. One of the best games. One of the very few games I've ever won, I've ever platinum trophied in my life. Uh, after that, we have song number 22. Uh, this one, Buddy Bro also got. It was the upgrade, updated, or the it upscaled Mallow Mart theme from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes, the very dark and grayscale game that is Twilight Princess. You know that game? Or I guess Pooh Grain, because everything in that period was trying to have brown as their primary color. It, yeah, it had that weird song in it. Twilight Princess is a good game. Fight me. Um, after that, song number 23 was Yo Yo Yoshi from Yoshi Story, the N64 game, which gets a lot of flack. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just listen. So Kevin got that one and Kevin also got the next one, which I kind of anticipated nobody get the next one. The next one is the title screen song from Earthworm Jim 2. Yeah, Earthworm Jim was a game series. It was a game series. And a cartoon. Starring Dan Castanello as the voice of uh, the voice of Earthworm Jim. You know, Homer. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna take it to uh, a little bit of time to update things on the scorecard and everything on my end. Again, pause play if you need if you need to. Oops. Buddy bro, it was starting to look a little gl gl uh, grim there if I didn't uh, put uh, one before that. Oops. So... We have our next ser set of songs. The category for you this time, and hopefully he doesn't decide to eat you guys. Cool, I didn't know you can move stuff like that. While, while having another window open.
gray, gray, tomato, tomato. Spelling is, everybody knows how, how gray is spelt. But yeah, category, morally gray. I probably shouldn't do that in case the category decides to eat you guys again. Anyway, I'm going to mute and we're going on with the next song.
Welcome, Alec and Stuff, to Name That Game Tune. I'll give you a brief refresher here while we go into uh, while we go into the next round. But I hate I gotta do. But as I've been doing things, uh, Kevin chilling down here. Kevin's a master of this round. Category didn't help too much. So morally gray. Uh, I'm probably spoiling at least one game on this list for people, considering I've 100%ed it recently. So I know everything about it. <laughs> Oops. Um, morally Gray. Basically, themes of characters or characters that you don't know what their moral compass is or it, their moral compass is out the window gone. <clears throat> so... Uh, song number, let me go through the top here, 25. Song number 25 was Ed's theme from Street Fighter V. Uh, much as I, I don't know very much about the story of Street Fighter V, but what I do know from it is Ed is part of the Vindaloo organization and kind of has, and it's supposed to be like a surrogate vessel for M. Bison when he gets to, when he basically eventually passes on. And Balrog, the boxer, teaches him how to box. So he's got M. Bison's shadow magic with Balrog's punchies. Anyway. Uh, after that, we had Fugue number 7777 from the original Katamari Damashi. I'm saying she because that's how they say it in the game. It's the song that plays when you are greeted when you're go well, while while you're greeted before you go into the level and King gives a little preamble. I would say one now, but I can't remember what the what it is to say hello in other lang in the languages because he says hello in the language native to what he's going to talk about. <clears throat> uh next on the next on the list number song number twenty seven is. Toy Block Tower from Wario Land 4, the Game Boy Advance Wario Land game. You know, the one that's really, really good. <laughs> not to say any not to say any of them are bad, just that one's the really good one. <laughs> also, the backtrack. I'm only saying this because Katamari Damacy is stupid and fun. I would like to remind folks just a lot of times, like almost once a month as of recent, Katamari Damacy has, Katamari Damacy reroll has gone on sale for like 10 bucks at least once a month this entire year. So if you want to try a Katamari Damacy game, you can definitely pick that one up. Anyway, and the last one, the 28th song was Suga, Right Hand of the Inverted Eye, from Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. It's Suga's theme. You know, the original character, Do Not Steal, from, from, from that game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna... So, I'm gonna update things on my end here. I don't really have much to update, but... Uh, if you have any qu by the way, because Alec, I know you're new here. I'm gonna go over the, the rules, cut and dry, pretty quick, but you can read more detail below me. I'm gonna play. A, I'm play a song from a game. Guess the game itself that it's from, not the name of the song itself. You get one guess per. If you're first, you get two points. If you're second or third, you get one point. If nobody gets it, Kevin down there in the number ten spot gets the point. Points, not points, just one. And even if you don't know the answer, guess anyway. You might get right. You might get it right. And also, I will say, I'll wait a minute because I'm telling you sort of like, if you, if you think, if you think that stream delay is affecting you, pause, play the stream really quick while I'm doing all of this in in between round stuff. Because like I said, whoever gets it first gets the most points. But people still get points even if they're not first. That's more or less to reward people who guess it on who guess it organically over those that potentially 
I've seen it happen in the past. Potentially just copy pasta what they realize what the right answer is afterwards. Uh, let's see. So I'm not going to start straight away, but the next category is spinoff. This one's going to be kind of broad, but it'll make sense as soon as I start playing. As soon as I start playing tracks. All right. I think we're good. So I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to start off with the next song. Also, oh yeah, I didn't say Alec, thank you for the follow. And because I said I would do the stuff in between rounds, here's your button. Not. I can explain that story if you're curious in a minute.
All right. So we're going to start it off like this, like I always do. So, hey, I got good news. Kevin didn't get all the points. <laughs> so let's see. All right, I got my stuff here. So, spinoff. All the songs here are from game series that are quite popular in even in or especially in Nintendo's handbook, but they are spin-offs to that series. And it all makes sense in just a minute. So, first off here, uh, song number 29. Song number 29 was Sky Tower, specifically from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Because I think Sky Tower was not in Rescue Team DX. Or not in Rescue Team... Oh god, what is it? Was not in the original release of Rescue Team. I know there's like Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team and there's a DS and Game Boy. I, I, I can't keep track of that stuff. But yeah, the recently released uh, remake of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. I didn't hear it until a friend I was watching who doing a playthrough in the series uh, heard it in his playthrough and was like, and was like, that song's kind of a banger. Um, let's see. Song number 30 is Banana Bungalow from DK, specifically DK, not his full name, King of Swing. It was a very, it was a very unique Game Boy game series where your only buttons were L and R for right hand left hand and you basically swung around on stuff to advance through get through the game instead of jumping everywhere I played I played like uh two stages of it legitimately <coughs> and then I stopped playing it Sorry, I feel something on my tooth. Um, song number 31. Alec got this getting his first points on the board. Followed by Buddy Bro. It is Fire Volcano from Pokemon Snap. You know, that game that everybody wanted a sequel for for like 20 years. And then it finally happened. And now that game's getting DLC in like four days. Free DLC as, as well, by the way. So yeah, we got so we have people who got that one right. And yeah, I do know I make the, I'm, I'm aware I do make the stuff a little bit harder. But if I just put every Mario and Zelda song in here, it'll be a little too easy. Anyway, uh, lastly, uh, song number thirty-two. Even I haven't played this game, but I picked up a used copy of it recently to play it because I love the series as of was evident from the last category this is this is allergia guardian guard uh, allergia gardens from wario master of disguise ds title i don't know how it controls but you basically give wario power-ups by drawing symbols on the touch screen of the ds So anyway, let me go ahead and update things as as uh, needed. Buddy Bro got himself another point. Uh, Alec and Alec and stuff got himself two points. He is on the board. And again, you know, pause play if you need to. Yada yada, so on and so forth. So next, let's see, we got 33 through 36. And what's the category for this one? If I can actually click in the right frame, go me. Waterlogged. Should make things simple for you. I'm going to go ahead and mute and I'll see you in the chat when I start announcing the songs.
give me one second to clarify something here. Uh. Okay, I had to make sure of that. I know where we are now. All right, so I had to make sure I got that right before I move on. Anyway, moving on now. Sarah's, you have you have upset me. You guys at least got one out of that, thank you, but... So waterlogged. Well, the theme of this category is probably pretty obvious. Everything that is center, a uh, game that is centered around or features a major element of water. Or at least a section. So, 
the first one I had to look up, song number 303, I had to look up specifically because in some instances you are correct. In some instances, some of you are correct. In some instances, some of you are not. But I had to look up where I where I cited the source from. And this is an important thing. This is Tide Goes Out, basically the credit song to the story mode in Splatoon 2. And as the time went on, I kind of remembered exactly where that came from, specifically because the whole game is about the fact about the fact that Callie's missing. And Marie is alone singing the song at the end. Anyway. So Alec and Stuff got that one first, followed by Buddy Bro. In which case I almost gave the point to the wrong person. Oops. How dare I? Next up, uh, after that, song number 34, we had Chaos 6 from Sonic Adventure. Mm, I could... Okay, I'm just going to cite the source that I've got on this, so my apologies. I'm just going to go with what I got. Let me... I'll do a leeway and I'll give you a point, because I'll believe you guys if you say it's from a certain thing, so... I'm not going to start, I'm not going to make waves. Like I said, I was confused in the first place. Anyway, so yeah, Chaos 6 from Sonic Adventure. You don't think about it because you really only fight uh, Chaos's sixth form twice. And you're not really paying attention to the music because it's such a uh, cheap, easy fight that you can win it in two hits with both characters that fight him. <clears throat> uh, after that, we have... Balmy Summer Breeze from Atelier Riza 2. And again, nobody got that one. Uh, from what I was told, though, this is a battle remix. It's a battle remix theme of like an endgame song from the first Atelier Riza game. I haven't played either of them or own either of them. But I've heard good well, I've heard rave things about the game series, those two games, so maybe in the future. And the last one that we kind of stayed on for a bit, unfortunately is not Persona, it was versus Sayu from No Straight Roads. Beat em up, beat em up rhythm game where everything is tied to the rhythm of the music, but it's still beat em up. It, it's a really good game. Really great music, really good game. Very uh, Psychonauts feel and aesthetic to it, if it, if it were. So, let me go ahead and update that leaderboard. And as I said, I could be wrong on things, so I I could be wrong on one, so I'm going to give a point just to make sure nobody gets upset, because I could be missing the source on this stuff. But we have a tie for second place right now. And again, now's a good time for pause play. If you think you're falling behind. But also, I will tell you guys that this is going to be the last... Uh, properly themed category uh just to say basically at the very at the very end of it all at the very end of all this i do two wild card rounds where points are doubled so people people can win a la a la mario party rules that's just how i roll anyway the category this time is boss fight I know this one's very broad, but it'll make more sense once you hear one or two of the songs. Anyway, I'm a mute. Let's head over to the music.
Well, let's do let's do things as we do it, right? So I'll say this much. Here's where we're at right now. Dagrox, this is definitely your round. You kind of exploded in this round of boss fight. So boss fight. Uh, basically, very key boss fight, very key boss fights or final boss fights, air quotes there too, from from uh from games and basically these are music tunes that at least in my opinion have kind of stood the test of time despite how far the series goes on i keep forgetting the suit is like three sizes too big <laughs> all right so anyway uh song number 37 dagrox got this one almost immediately this is uh, this song was X versus Zero from Mega Man X Five. From from big time Mega Man fans, this is the song that people still talk about to this day as the peak of Mega Man music. And let's see. After that, song number thirty-eight. Uh, I should have clarified on this, but this won't this won't be a problem going forward. Uh, song number 38 was Champion Battle Music or versus Kukui from Pokemon Sun and Moon. I should have mentioned this earlier on, although it doesn't have any weight on the rest of this. If it's something like Pokemon, where it's a game that has two versions of it, uh, I if you guess either version that works, you don't have to say Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon or Pokemon Sun and Moon, you know, anything like that. Either version works as long as you get the right generation. I don't know about Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon in this scenario because I did not play Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, but yeah, Dagrox took that, ran, and boy did he run. Boy he ran. Anyway, <clears throat> now this, now these next two, I kind of knew that only I would probably get them. Because one's old and the other one is a series that not many people I know play, oddly enough. Uh, song number 39 was, it's just called Zone J, though as time's gone on it's been known as Fat Cat's theme from Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Rangers the NES game. Back in the time when, you know, Disney had made good games. By Capcom. If you think I'm wrong, go look up DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, and or the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers games. So no one ha so no one got that one. And lastly, song number 40 was Zinogre's theme from Monster Hunter Rise. Not so much in the last like two months, but I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter Rise lately. I've finally gotten into the series. So it stand to reason Zenogre's theme was going to pop on here. By the way, funny thing to take away from this is I was debating on having a haha -ha funny and putting Kezu's theme on here. Here's the thing with Kezu's theme. It's literally, it's no noise because Kezu is a monster who, who fights via echolocation. So to emphasize this, they give it there's no noise in the battle at all. There's no song. There's no ambiance. Nothing. It's just dead white noise. So I could have been a jerk, but I wasn't. Anyway. Pause play. You know the thing. So now we're coming into... We're coming into bonus rounds. Wild card rounds. As I said before, wild card rounds... I said rounds. I'm going to fix this later. Oh, well, it actually worked out pretty well. I put it down there right away so I don't have to say it. Anyway, points are doubled now, but there is no clear hint as to what song is going to pop up anymore. I can pull any song from anywhere and any game. This should frighten you. But because of that, that's the reason why points are now doubled. Anyway. 
But like I said, these are... F did I, I did update that. These are five songs in a row instead of four. Because I have to end it on, on an even 50. So, I'm going to be quiet. And I will take us over to the first song here. Thank you. 
Okay, that one's a little short, but pr I pretty much assumed everybody had gotten it by the point. Anyway, so wild card round one. Let's just start from the top. Well, start again. I need to remember to do things in a specific order. I do this constantly. I have a problem. So Kevin did not get everything, which is good considering it's a wild card. But anyway, so song song number forty one. Thanks to Smash Brothers. Everybody knows this one. This is Mass Destruction from Persona 3. And if you're like me, it's the only song you know from, from Persona 3. Oops. Uh, the next one, Kevin Got, which I kind of figured this one because I picked an indie game on this one. Uh, song number 42 was Abadis Forest from Dust in Elysian Tale. It's a it's it's like a 2012 release Metroidvania game hack and slash. Emphasis on combos. Anyway, next up, song number 43. <sighs> this really should speak uh, should speak volumes about uh, the state of this series. This uh, this one was Aperoid Homeworld from Star Fox Assault. Good game. The only, really the only official, really the only official sequel to that Star Fox ever got, and almost nobody played it because it wasn't a rehash of the game made on the Super Nintendo. I said it. We've gotten the same game three times. Anyway, so song number, so, song number forty-four was was the meme song it was sand canyon one from kirby's dreamland three buddy bro got that and that was about it and lastly song number 45 was overworld theme one also known as athletic athletic theme one from super mario brothers three so dagrox got that one first then buddy bro got it so let me tally up the rest of the of your points here. Uh, I will say this much. Buddy Bro got an got an entire got an entire death got an entire thing. But Dave Grox is still in the running. So it's still anybody's game at this point. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and update things. And this is going to be the last category and the last of it we do. I'm kind of weighing it in my head if I want to stream much more beyond this tonight. Uh, I'm still functioning, but the migraines are kind of coming here and there. So I'm trying to fight them back. So if I don't say it beforehand, thank you all so much for coming out and playing tonight. I'll probably say this again later, but thanks for coming out and playing tonight. And I've now realized while looking through the internet that I may have scheduled mine the same night as somebody else's. Oops. But anyway, let's get let's get through the end of this.
All right. That was it. Let's proceed to remove this suit jacket. It's starting to get warm. That was everything. Well, I just got, you know. And we're done. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody got any points in that last round. Oops. So let's go through the last five songs here so people can kind of find out which songs are what. So starting off, number 46 was Glue Glue from Rayman Legends. One of the five rhythm le uh, levels in the game. Uh, song number 47 was NMH from No More Heroes. I believe the third in that trilogy is coming out in the next month or two. Also rated M, so keep that in mind. Song number 48 was the battle theme for the Galarian Legendary Birds from Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield, I should say. I'm hearing loud music, so I don't know if it's me or my roommate. Let me make sure it's the weather, too. Anyway, let's continue on with this. Oh, no, there's thunderstorms outside. We're good. Anyway, uh, song number 49. I unintentionally may have... I unintentionally maybe caved that one away a little bit. Uh, song number 49 was Team Chaotix theme song from, from uh, Sonic Heroes. Oops. And the last song for the night was uh, On Parade. I sh should say, sorry, I should say the whole title. Round 4 2 On Parade from Rystar. That Genesis game that I never shut up about. So yeah, that was that was everything from Name That Game Tune this time. We had some folks hop in and enjoy their time. Uh, I will try my best to put a VOD of this out on various platforms in the future. I might upload a VOD to the main channel, actually, so people can enjoy it. But yeah. Um, well, I will say congratulations to Buddy Bro, who who, for all human players, won tonight. Uh, Kevin is looking kind of healthy down there, but hey, I know when I run these things, I tend to run them on the bit on the hard side because I haven't played a lot of RPGs, and that's what a lot of people know from my recollection of these events. Uh, let me look here. It's only 9 o'clock. You know, I think we might switch. I think we might switch gears and play another game just to chill for another couple hours, maybe. I can see if some friends are nearby. So, thanks to everybody who participated in the name of the game too. I'm gonna step away for just a minute. That's also a possibility. I am gonna step away for just a minute here, while I go put this suit jacket away. And I'll switch games here, but this will give you guys to stretch and whatnot. I know I gotta go take a pee break. So 